guys Ben here and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about the flash season 7 also we're going to be talking about supergirl season 6 its final season so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any dc tv videos later this year okay so today we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff some of it is coming from reputable sources like digitalspy.com but also some are coming from a bit less reputable sources We'll get to that. So I want to discuss a few articles that I found recently and, you know, mainly it's to do with a potential crossover in Supergirl's final season with The Flash, potentially Superman and Lois as well. So yeah, this is coming from We Got This Covered, who you know is very, very unreliable. They do create a lot of fake information, they just make articles for clicks and everything like that, so take this with a huge grain of salt and I'm going to talk about what I think about this article in a minute, but they are reportedly saying that The Flash and Supergirl will have a team up, they will get one more team up. So this is how the article goes, Arrowverse fans were saddened last week when it was announced that Supergirl was being cancelled. The CW show was one of the core Arrowverse titles, with Melissa Benoist's titular heroine playing a key role in multiple crossover events, including last year's awesome Crisis on Infinite Earths. But viewers still have something to look forward to, as the upcoming sixth season comprises of 20 episodes and is set to air in 2021, and Benoist has promised it's going to be one hell of a final season. Not only that, but sources close to We Got This Covered, the same ones that told us that the Fast and Furious franchise is headed to space and a Justice League Dark show is coming to HBO Max, say that there's one more crossover in store for Supergirl as well. This will see the Flash and Kara team up for one last time in a story that will somehow involve Lex Luthor. Then, if you scroll down a bit in the article, it goes on to say details beyond that remain unclear, but it's an interesting development and could even tie into Superman and Lois. Okay, so this is interesting, and obviously, at face value, when you read a title like this saying that the Flash and Supergirl will reportedly get one more team up, you're gonna get excited, you're gonna get really, really hyped, because I would get really, really hyped if you didn't know where this was coming from. So, we got this covered extremely unreliable, possibly the most unreliable source or website on the internet in regards to DC TV and comic book stuff in general, because they make up a whole load of stuff. Basically, all of the stuff that they post online is all speculation, but they claim sources close to We Got This Covered. You guys know that if you watched any of my videos over the years when we've talked about mm -hmm. We Got This Covered before and they're fake news essentially, like actual fake news, like they just come up with it out of nowhere. And they always use the quote, but sources close to We Got This Covered told us this. And they always have to back that up and they say the same ones that told us X and Y is coming to blah 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 say that there is this. So they've got this kind of template that they go by and they've always, you know, they always say it and in two of the articles I'm going to talk through today, they both say the exact same thing and they say the same ones that told us that the Fast and Furious franchise is headed to space and then they add on another thing to try and prove that they are a reputable source but if you know them, it's untrue. So they've made this up and no sources have actually told them, however, and this is not to do with We Got This Covered at all, but this is me theorising. I think there will be one last team up between Supergirl and The Flash in Supergirl's final season. Whether we get a full on crossover episode or not, I reckon she's going to cross over at some point to our other shows. Because normally we would have like a big crossover, like sort of in the middle of the season with all of our shows. You know, we had Crisis on Infinite Earths last year. However, this year is different and considering it was Crisis and everything that is happening now in the world, it's very unlikely that we're going to get any sort of huge big team up this season. So, I think, look out for a smaller crossover, they did actually confirm they were planning to do a Batwoman and Superman and Lois crossover sometime later this season, Mark Pedowitz, the head of the CW, the CW's president, literally said that, so there is some sort of crossover coming in the future, and they did say that this would include like The Flash and Supergirl, like the characters would be in it, even if their shows didn't have like a full episode, so I would expect a little crossover, something like that, this season. And I would say Supergirl is going to cross over one last time with The Flash and, you know, some of the other 
characters out there in the multiverse. And so yeah, this article is not trustworthy, however, they're going off of kind of common knowledge that, yeah, Supergirl and The Flash are probably going to cross over sometime this season because it's already been confirmed a crossover is planned. But yeah, so they don't know and they say the details beyond that remain unclear, but it's an interesting development and it would be an interesting development and it would be cool if it tied into Superman and Lois and they say it could somehow involve Lex, but you know, they say somehow involve and you can just tell it's been made up. So anyway, let's move on past this and let's move on to another article from We Got This Cover because I found this very interesting as well. So they put up an article around like people petitioning for Supergirl to be saved and this is just a normal article, this is just going over what has been happening, you know, so nothing kind of clickbaity or anything. Well, it is clickbaity, but it's not, you know, anything, you know, that they've made up themselves. But, so there are some petitions out there that are asking for Supergirl to, you know, reconsider. But the fact of the matter is, and this is coming from me, not from the article, you shouldn't put out petitions for Supergirl to be saved. Because if you support Melissa and you support the show, you know it's an actual choice that they chose to do. They chose to end the show, they didn't get cancelled by the CW or by, you know, Warner Brothers or anything like that. They actually chose to end the show, so it's Melissa's choice and I guess if you don't support Melissa's choice, I don't know where that puts you. However, I don't think petitions are going to do anything in this case. Petitions are great in other cases and it has, you know, brought attention to important stuff, especially in the Arrowverse in the past few years when big things have happened. However, this is different and it would be the same if someone put a petition out for when Arrow was ending because they decided, and that being the cast members, that being Melissa or that being Stephen and Mel, they actually talked to them and they were part of the decision. So. I think, you know, there's no point in doing a Supergirl petition to bring it back, although I would love Supergirl to go on for however many seasons more, it's not going to happen. So, I just wanted to include that, I just saw it on We Got Discovered, and I thought, you know, whilst I was researching this, like, why not include this in the video? So, you know, what they say in the article, they don't actually say anything bad, it's just a kind of normal article where they're going over some actual kind of information, not really news. And so, yeah, no amount of signatures will stop Supergirl from wrapping up because they've decided to end it. Okay, so let's move over to one of the last things I wanted to talk about. So Swamp Thing is coming next week to the CW, so I think it's actually tomorrow night. I think it's in the Flash's time slot. So I wanted to ask you guys, do you want me to cover Swamp Thing? I am going to be busy over the next few weeks, so we'll have to wait and see, but if you're interested, I would be happy to cover Swamp Thing if that's the thing that you guys want. You're going to have to let me know because I don't have a gauge on how many people want Swamp Thing videos and how many people are going to be watching on the CW because the show did come out like a while ago now on DC Universe but it's now airing week to week on the CW and I wanted to mention this because they released some cool promo stuff on social media in regards to Swamp Thing because it's headed to the CW next week. And they did this cool kind of animation to The Flash, Supergirl, Black Lightning, and Legends, and also Stargirl. And they tease that there's something in the water. And they used the posters for those shows. And I thought it was very cool, and I liked it. And there are plenty of reasons to watch this, because it's on the CW. I guess at one point there is potential for it to be properly linked and I think if the show does good on the CW there could be a potential for season 2 and we don't know if there are going to be some more discussions after season 1 airs with Warner Brothers and the CW but at this time there's only season 1 but I reckon if it does good numbers, it does good for the CW, there could be a chance for season 2 on the CW and you know it is in the Arrowverse after all because it was included in Crisis, there was a cameo from Swamp Thing on another Earth, so kind of like Stargirl or Titans or Doom Patrol on another Earth, however we'll have to wait and see, do you guys want Swamp Thing videos, let me know, do you think he's going to cross over at some point to our other characters if they do get a season 2, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for all the support, keep on watching the videos and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.